We are Magic 102.3 and 92.7, the real sound of the DMV. VJ in the midday. You know, it's a gorgeous day outside, and I have a gorgeous woman here with me, singer, songwriter, Tanya Nolan. Hey, How that was you? so no, Thank you. She's gorgeous as well. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Listen, the, your energy just coming in was so vibrant and positive, and you just—it <laughs> was like a breath of fresh air. Like, oh, oh, hey, thank you, Tanya. thank you, <laughs> thank you. I got the meet Kashan. Paul. Yeah. yeah. Listen, She's... I knew once I saw Texas, I said, <laughs> okay, see that southern, mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. southern charm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> So how are you feeling? I feel it's, great. It's my first time being here in Washington. D- well, we're in Maryland today, but my first time being in D.C. Um, the weather was great. The hospitality has been amazing. Oh, good. Um, I'm, good. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. you know, I'm loving that you are really doing your thing out here. OK, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. So, uh, you know, we know we're going to get into, you know, being a singer and a songwriter. Uh, but I think I've read that you're running and owning the biggest children's facility okay, yeah. in me, Texas. Me, yes, me and my so wife. I'm going to start there <laughs> because it's like, okay, I want to know how we got from point A uh, to, to point B. <laughs> well, you know, it basically, the first facility is in Galveston, Texas, called Nolan's Child Care Center. Uh-huh. I had no idea that that would be something that um, I would be into. So yeah. actually, my baby sister, Letitia Nolan, um, she liked to be called Cookie, but <laughs> Letitia hey, Nolan, um, she said, like, hey, sis, um, are you? I, I have a proposal for you. So and we, we dived into it, and, and it fell into my lap. And that, that was not something that I thought that I would be doing, because yeah. at that time, I was still gigging in nightclubs, making a 50 to sixty dollars a night okay. for three hours sets. You Listen, know? that's the grind. So, yeah, I was okay. I was grinding, <laughs> and so that's how that happened. And then when it comes to um ah uh, uh, better child care center a w w better child care center, which is in um Lamarck, Texas. Okay, um, how that came about, uh, Kim and I. Kim and I, that fell into our laps as well. We um paid to um be into a real estate class, mm-hmm. and um. Basically, when we got back, I'm doing a lot of shortcuts. No, no, go. a gentleman came and knocked on my door at Nolan's and said, "Hey, I'm looking for Tanya Nolan." I was like, "Here," they was like, "Here she is." And he was like, "Well, um, Ricky, Ricky Taylor is selling his um center in Lamarck, and he wants to know if you're interested." Ricky wanted someone that was already established and yeah. knew about childcare, so he did his studying. He he heard of me, uh-huh. so he sent it to the door, and that's how it happened. So it's on 10.53 acres. We have a huge fishing pond with my favorite fish which is wow. um sea bass okay. um go karts for the kids Wait, are y'all fishing the sea bass because well, like, we, oh y'all got sea bass no nah, okay. I, 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 <laughs> I get i get it's delicious <laughs> it is delicious <laughs> no we'll, we'll get someone on our team to go and catch it and skin it and yeah. cook it up for us but uh <laughs> but it's, it's beautiful lots of amenities for the kids like i said it's on 10.53 acres and that fell into our lap yeah. as well yeah and we just we just been um going with it I, we've been thanking the lord for it constantly that is amazing so yeah. the grind um uh, with music yes and you hear this from a lot of singers like how they had to start you know in clubs or singing in church or mm-hmm. you know just mm-hmm. different functions true and so you know all your hard work paid off Yes. And the single No Pressure Ah, dropped. No Pressure. And I feel like that's the one where you were like, okay, this is happening. This is happening. You're right. The ball has stopped. Like, I can't even stop it. The ball, it's going down, you know. You're right. It's picking up speed and... I have to be ready. Were you ready for that moment? No. Was Mm -hmm. all of this in preparation for that moment? It had to be. And, 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 and just from, um, being who I am, my childhood, my raising, I was going to be ready whether I was ready or not. Yeah, sitting on ready. I'm a natural, I'm a hustler. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. whether I was ready or not, it was going to happen. And But it did throw me off a little bit. And, and at times <laughs> right. I'm like, okay, I asked for this. I asked for this. 
that part. <laughs> so there's when no we running from it. Uh-huh. And when we ask for things, right? and we put it out there in the universe, and they're like, oh, okay, this mm-hmm. is what you want? Mm-hmm. Here, I, I, I'm giving you exactly what you want. It may not be the timing, right? but this is what you asked for. Right. So. It's, it's real. <laughs> yeah. It's real. So and I do, you know, it, it, it does start in the mind. And for me, it did start in the mind. It didn't start at church. Mm-hmm. Um, it, just, it just happened. I was very clear. I remember clearly speaking out. And I said um, I was speaking to my creator. I wanted to. I'm like, whoever created me, this is who I'm talking to. I remember saying this and I was specific at an early age at what I want. I didn't want to struggle in certain ways anymore. I didn't want to be poor anymore. And I was very detailed on what I wanted. And then it it started happening. Mm -hmm. Um, You don't just ask for it. There's action behind it we get help i believe in our ancestors and i believe that they are um that that they are paving the way that they are helping us they may be dead in the flesh but they are not dead on the other side and i strongly believe that they they see things that we don't see they know things that we don't know they were once in the flesh like us and now they're on the other side now they know the truth and some of them are pissed okay so it's i'm like i feel like this i don't want to let them down yeah, I do not want to let them down, and and there's um a, this this purpose is bigger than me. I just get to experience some of the awards, you know. I experience some of the struggles. Now I get to experience some of the awards, yeah. and um I feel it's it's my responsibility to pave the way and to make them proud. So when you first heard your song, I know every artist has this moment <laughs> when you first hear your song on the radio. When you can turn it up and you're like, that's me. I said, that, it, yeah, what was I that did. moment for you? What mo- what was that moment like? I It was, um, I was very emotional and I had to tell myself I am deserving of this and there's more to come. Yeah. I had to tell myself yes. and I, I felt bad. I even had to convince myself of that. Yeah. But I did. And um, I'm happy that I did. And I'm, pr- I'm pressing forward. I, I just like I love music. I'm like, um, I'm guessing this is what this is what part of what I'm supposed to do. And so mm-hmm. I told myself recently, I said, I don't think I want to put out any more sad songs Mm -hmm. i said i want to be remembered and when they hear my music that it touched them in a good way did it did not bring them down so i've been figuring out how to um how to do that when it comes to the lyrics and the beats that i pick yeah so so where do where do you draw that inspiration from because you you know we talk about our experiences mm -hmm, mm -hmm. a lot of artists this is how they heal this is their journal this is you know how they put their emotions, you know, on paper and then relay it to us. Okay. How? What is what? Where do you draw the inspiration from? That's easy. I'm I'm just gonna just just tell it. Okay, tell it. Me. <laughs> it comes from within. I don't. I just let it flow effortlessly. Mm. I'm like, how do I feel? Um, how did I feel in, 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 in 1983 when I had this incident? Let me let me talk about it. Let and me so tap I, into that energy of where the energy I, I, it comes out and I write it. Yeah, I write yeah. it. And um, sometimes in the process of the writing, um, I'll even close my eyes and I, I, I don't want it to be forced. If it's forced, it's not genuine. Mm. And it's like um, I want to see the notes as I'm putting it to the, the pen to the paper. It's yeah. like I, I visibly want to see it. And at times it's like, you know, your mind can play tricks on you. At times I am blessed to actually see them notes as I am writing them down. And it's, it's so magical. Mm. I feel that I am filled with a whole lot of of magic because it's still mind-blowing and it's so much more um to come i've been allowing myself to not let a a lot of outsiders influence me because i feel as if i if i allow that then i'm not allowing my audience to have the authentic tanya nolan so when i mean by influence i can take on the ideas when it comes to you know some of some of their ideas are telling you may you may how about you try this Mm -hmm. i might you know if if it feels right but i don't want to do anything that feels forced so i say this i try to stay true to me as a newer artist that 
speaks volumes mm-hmm. because a lot of artists come out and they really don't know. They want to fit in mm-hmm. to what is going on now. No. And you bring a mix, a little bit of everything from Afro beats yep. to R&B, <laughs> like your, yes. your sound. And I'm seeing your, your single, My Best. Uh-huh. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Peter and Green. Yes, okay. yes, 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 yes. So, One, yes. you know, so talk about that because you are giving, just by hearing you, it sounds like you're putting your all into it and you're giving your best of what you are as an artist. And it started uh-huh. from the very beginning. So talk about this single, how it came about, how CeeLo Green got into ah, the mix. My best. Okay, so it's a gentleman named um, Corey Mo that um, introduced the track to me and instantly I liked it. I said, mm-hmm. dude, it's, it's, it's a go. I said, it's a go. He <laughs> said, like, okay. So we got to writing, me and a um, young lady, um, Kiara, and we, we got to writing, we wrote to it. So... And, and we, we put it out. I put it out. Okay. Art sessions. You just said art right, sessions. We, we put it out. Put I said, out. this this is it. I said, we're yeah. going to we gonna go with this. And so we put it out and it did really well. And um, Corey was like, well, what do you think about um, having a feature on this song? I said, I thought about it before you brought it to my attention. I said, so you just gave me, um, you know, confirmation. confirmation. And he was like, well, what do you think about CeeLo Green? I said, what? The, the dude that sing crazy. I hey, said, girl, yes. Okay. I said yes. <laughs> I, I was like, if, if he'll, if if he if he's interested, absolutely. So Corey's like, he's interested. I'm like, okay. So we went with it and we made it happen. And I met him a few times. Um, CeeLo is incredibly talented. And he was a gentleman. Um, he texts. We text each other back and forth. You know, the last, one of the other texts was a like, happy Women's, Women's Day. It was Women's Day. I forgot. Oh, Man. Women's History Month. History Month. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> And then um, he recently fell off a horse. I'm like, dude. I know. I said, yeah, are you are you that. good? He was yeah. like, yeah, T, I'm all right. <laughs> right. Like, hold up now. Don't be breaking that. Don't break that stage. Yeah, man. we need you around. He, he's, he popped up real quick. But um, yeah. that's how that started. Um, and we went with it. And so the momentum, you know, from that single and then Good Woman. Oh, girl. Good Woman. <laughs> Talk about good, good woman. woman. Good woman. Okay, now good woman. Good woman is a it's a true story. Every single lyric it happened, and um, it's challenging for me when I sing it on stage. But you know, Why? Why oh, and, and, well, it, well, you know, at times I was uh-huh. like, I thought I'd healed from this. You know what I'm saying? I thought I. I thought I healed we from this. We are going through the process with you, <laughs> what you're saying right oh my now. God, I should not be feeling this way. I'm still pissed off. I'm, I'm going to need to fix that. But <laughs> that Good Woman, is it really happens. So that's one of my favorite tunes. Good mm-hmm. Woman is full of emotions. It's, it's very volatile. It is It is so me. It's, um, it is what it is. And so... <laughs> <laughs> I, well, even when it came, um, Lab Ox actually produced that track, and he's the first producer to actually challenge me vocally. Mm, it was okay. Lab. He challenged me vocally in that in the, behind the booth, and I was like, "Man, this is this is me. This is me." I'm like, "I'm I'm doing this. I'm hitting these notes. Like, what 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 yeah. in the world is going on?" But behind the um, mic. I remember the feeling. It was so spiritual, especially the part where I was saying, no, 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 <laughs> it was spirit. It's like they it was, was an out of body experience. It was. Like, it like was, is this me? It, really? Because I'm like, uh, this is me. This is not a clone. <laughs> Where is this coming from? Yeah. And it was just coming. And and Lab, he knows not to ever when I'm behind the mic, not to ever turn it off because he learned me first of all, mm-hmm. and he don't know what's gonna come. So with me, it's like I'm just about to get back there and do it. <laughs> get back yeah. there and do it, and that's what happened. It was very magical once again, and I, I it's, it's as if I felt how I felt. I felt calm. It felt good, and it was like therapy for me. Yeah, yeah. It was. A, so- it was like it was a cleansing, and he got it all on tape. That's that, how that happened. That emotion, like he captured exactly how you were feeling in yes. that moment. Mm-hmm. And so what is the the overall message that you want to send to women who hear the record 
and who oh, are like, oh my god, easily like, like hey, is she in my head? <laughs> you know what? You you still here? You wake up in the morning. It's a new beginning. It's a new beginning. You know, know that you are deserving. Know who you are. Know that you do not have to accept any type of abuse. I don't care who it's from, even if it's from your parents. Know that you are deserving of that. You know, because some people go to that Bible and be real quick to say, hey, honor thy father and thy mother. And and I'm quick to say only if they are honorable. Mm. Mm. Period. And that's what anybody, anybody, you have to show people how to respect you. Yeah. So that's yeah. what that song is about. And you command that. Yes, I do. This is <laughs> you, the only life that I have at this moment. You command that. I can tell. Like, now here, and I know on stage, it's like you you unleash everything that you put in to your music. I try. And that is, you know, that's the ultimate artist. That's the ultimate performer. Thank you. And so now we have the newest single. Oh, yeah. Paste yourself. Oh yes, Raheem Devon. Raheem Devon, DMV's own. That Raheem dude. Devon. <laughs> Ooh, Raheem. So how was it working with Raheem and you know just meeting him, engaging, and then also working on a song together? Raheem is a gentleman and extremely talented, and he's fun. He's very he's likable. <laughs> <laughs> he is really um, likable and he's been teaching me some things and I'm thankful for and I'm, I'm do you teaching me out what do you want from me why are you doing this for me <laughs> like, I asked him that why are you being so nice to me like why are you doing this he was like um, I believe in you I, I, he said I've been looking for a muse and it's you mm-hmm. and I'm like well I've been looking for you I said you were sent to me I strongly believe that because um, he's been doing some writing for me and the songs I cannot wait Wow, it's mind yeah. blowing. You you guys think pace yourself is doing some things. Just wait. wait right? Just wait. <laughs> it's is is mind blowing and I cannot wait to um get in the studio and knock some of these out. But yeah. Raheem, how we came across Pace Yourself, let me tell you. Corey Moe again, of course. Corey's like, Tanya, I got this song. It's like, you got this song, okay, when he says this. And um I heard it and again I was like, Hell yeah. <laughs> yes it was an instant um it was an instant yes and Connection, Raheem yeah. wrote the song he wrote he actually wrote every single lyric in that song and so um when it came to shooting um even the, the behind the scenes and us um collabing together it's like it felt like th- how it's supposed to be it felt right it felt right and we got we have more to come we have more to come and we can't wait to hear everything that you have coming up um i'm reading that you're getting ready for prize season i am and the first this is the first for me the first for you yes okay (laughs) so now i mean you have to to talk about being an activist for the lgbtqia plus i have to get that right because i i understand you know (laughs) Um, but even still like being a part of the community and having that responsibility, whether you want to or not at this point. Right. You know, we are all, especially if we're public figures, we're mm-hmm. all put um, in a position where our platform and uh, is important. And we can use that um, to get out, to put out messages, messages, messages of support, positive messages. And so I, I see that you are just going full steam ahead, you know, with this. So talk about your involvement within the community, being an activist for it. (sighs) Well, you know. um, And preparing your music for it, because that's what's going to connect everything. Right. Music is the the connector of it all. Well, I have a single coming out called Create Your Best Life, which is basically catering to the LGBTQ community. I wrote it specifically. um, um, I thought of them. And myself, of course, when Mm -hmm. I um, wrote the actual song, and I think it'll be released. It'll be released before this month is up. Oh, yeah, that's coming up. Yeah, it's coming up. But um, when it comes to the LGBTQ community, I strongly believe that people should live authentically how they feel, living your truth. The moment that you stop caring about what others think, you have a sense of freedom. This is the only, this is the life that you are living. Live it. Make yourself. What makes you happy? What makes you happy? It's not all about uh, you know. What my parents, my parents think, things, what my, what my uncle thinks, what my friends think. How do you feel? And and it, there is a lot of 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 
I don't want to get too heavy and too deep into this, but love, love is love is good. It's healthy um, when you're being kind to one another. I try to stay out of people's business as long as you're not harming kids or hurting anybody even when it comes to your neighbor walk and live freely in your truth we are here we've been here um before christ you know Mm -hmm. do you and just how can i put this i'm I'm trying to say it the right way and just be direct be you love who you are look in the mirror adore yourself Talk to yourself, be your therapy, treat yourself, forgive yourself Mm. for whatever. That is a big one. Forgiving yourself is something that I've always said to people, especially when you're going down that path of healing. Mm -hmm. Things that you allowed, things that you've done, but Mm -hmm. also things that you've allowed people to do to you. You have to forgive yourself for that. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't get an apology for them from them. Forgive yourself so that you'll be able to move on. So that is a powerful message. You're right. And the, and the ones that c- feels that they are that they need an apology when they know that they are the ones, um, you know, that did the wrongdoing. This is my message to them. Here's your apology. I apologize for allowing you to play with me like that. Period. Period. <laughs> Period. Period. And then forgive myself. Yeah. Ah, let's toast to that. <laughs> Let's toast to that. And it is all about love at the end of the day. Love for your craft. Mm -hmm. Love for what you do. Love for your fans. The people who support you. And so moving forward, what can we expect from Tanya Nola? I mean, you're going to expect more music. I'm here to stay. I'm not going anywhere i know i know i know i know how to i know i know how to i know how to deal with the bullies (laughs) i'm good (laughs) oh i can tell okay texas is in the building yes yes and texas has been giving me a lot of support especially yeah. terry thomas um candy eastman shout i can let me a shout out to shout terry. Out terry you know um a, a, texas has been giving a lot of support washington has been giving a lot of support i could just new york has been giving, I've, i i can i can say it i'm appreciative and i know yes. that there's more to come i mean i'm still climbing the ladder yeah i'm climbing the ladder so well, where can we catch yeah. up with you and see everything that you have going on do oh, you have any shows coming I do. up actually i got some dates i'm gonna be doing with um raheem and a okay. few other people that's coming okay. um we haven't had the dates locked in yet but we definitely have some dates um you can find me on instagram uh, under i am tanya nolan that's tanya with an a yes. um youtube tanya nolan's twitter tiktok um twitch yes you twitch. just type in tanya nolan and um you'll be able to find me yes at my tanya. website www.tanyanolanmusic.com Thank you so much, Tanya. Welcome. Thank you. Expect nothing but great things from you. And I know I'll be seeing you really soon. You will. I'm coming back. (laughs) Yes. I'm coming back. (laughs) Thank you for joining me today. Thank you. And much love to you. Likewise.